It's time for Artist Direct on KDEC-FM 100.5, your local connection to the music scene. Today's program is made possible by Holstrom Jewelers, Elm Street Cresco. It's Artist Direct here on FM 100.5. Thanks again to Holstrom Jewelers on Elm Street and Cresco for sponsoring not only the program, but supporting 
uh, people getting out and seeing live music, which is what uh, we're all about here at KDEC. And in fact, I am on the phone right now with uh, Bobby Patrick from Gypsy Lumberjacks, who are going to be here playing live next weekend. Uh, good morning, Bobby. How's it going? Good. It's good to have you here. Thanks for, I know, musicians, early morning. It's a whole thing. I appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. Listen, here's the here's the deal. I know you're coming to the Haymarket, um, and I have friends that are. I don't think it's overkill to say obsessed with your band. Um, wow, that's fair. <laughs> it's good to have those. There's a fine line between fans and stalkers, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, we always have a good time at the Haymarket. They, they know how to get down, that's for sure. Yes, so. they do. So you're coming to the Haymarket next week, and you're going to be playing some of the songs that we just heard. In fact, the one we just heard, what you wanted here. Well, tell me about that song. It's, it's got great rhythms, which is, I think, something that you guys are known for. Yeah, um, you know, we love uh, uh, to really incorporate uh, all different sounds from around the world um, into uh, into the music, and uh, this is something that was written by... Um, Blake Magnuson, who's uh, basically our uh, singer, songwriter, and uh, the maestro, as we call him, behind the whole thing. And um, yeah, it's a really fun song, and uh, really happy how it turned out to record it. And it's always really, really fun to play live and get people dancing. That's so cool. Well, and I love, because what I know about you guys is, I mean, when people hear you and the music that I've heard, it's, I sort of feel like you get sort of improv, you get a little of this. I don't know, jazz, kind of. You've got, like, bluegrass. Uh, I sometimes Ooh. even think, like, kind of <laughs> flamenco. That was kind of South African. You've got these, like, just, like, sitting in the bar drinking music. And it all comes together really well, which is not something that I think I would have um, put together before hearing you guys. Is it just that you guys have such diverse backgrounds that this sort of naturally occurred? Or did you think, like, <laughs> we're going to put the peanut butter and the chocolate together and see what happens? Yeah, you know, I would say uh, uh, there's definitely no uh, no master plan behind it. It's just uh, the whole thing just kind of came together. Um, <laughs> we've uh, you know, all known each other from even some of us playing in uh, different bands uh, in the past with each other. And, uh, you know, so you know it, uh, you know, if you would have told me five years ago that uh, this group of guys would have uh, been working together and making some, uh, some good music and having fun, you know, I, I probably wouldn't have believed it. So. so how did this group of guys get together? Um, well, you know, it's, uh, I guess, I mean, over at like I said, kind of over the course of years, I've, uh, you know, uh, played a little bit with Leif, just, uh, you know, uh, just like a, a guitar duo, and um, just done some gigs here and there with him for, uh, you know, uh, probably started like seven years ago or something like that. Um, I was also playing in another band with our bass player, Pete, and that's how uh, uh, he kind of came into to this project, and uh, um, just, you know, another, other guys just kind of met from uh, other bands around the scene and, and, you know, played shows with them and, uh, kind of slowly, uh, started, uh, started as a four piece and started adding on some members and, uh, before you know, we got what we got now. It's so cool because it, it, it's not, um, <laughs> it's not your normal grouping of sounds and music. And I think that's what makes you guys pretty cool, pretty unique. Um, and makes you so much fun in person because uh, you you just you're not afraid to use different instruments. You're not afraid to kind of step outside of the normal kind of rock band scene. And it seems like you have a lot of fun when you're up there. Oh yeah, we we always uh, we have a, we have a good time playing. That's for sure. <laughs> so where are you guys touring um, right now? Are you guys? I know you're you're coming to the Haymarket, but what but what is your tour taking you right now? Um, we just, uh, we're halfway through our, uh, Colorado run. We started out in, like, South Dakota, and we did, like, Mankato and stuff to get out here. But, uh, yeah, we, uh, went to Ridge, Denver, and then came back up to the mountains, uh, the Avon. And, uh, then we got a couple of dates right around Colorado Springs, uh, Friday and Saturday. And then we are going to take a day to drive through Kansas and come through, uh, Illinois and, uh, in Iowa and came out to be one of the last dates on the, uh, the tour. That's fantastic. So <laughs> I know the, the times that you've been at the Haymarket that you realize that people in Decorah don't mind dancing. Uh, oh, not at all. Yeah, it's, it's great. Do you find that everywhere you go? Um, you know, some people, uh, you know, some, some venues are a little bit, um, you know, more set up for, uh, you know, just, just listening and relaxing kind of, kind of atmosphere. But uh, um, usually we've, uh, you know, we've been... Pretty successful in uh, getting some booty shaking. 